Yeah, wanna know what it's like Life. Baby, show me what it's like Life. I don't want to fight no tights Life. I just wanna fuck all night Yeah, yeah Oh, 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 oh. Mm. Baby, mm. I need to know mm. Oh. Mm. I just been fantasizing mm. And we got a lot of time mm. Baby, come throw the pipe mm. Gotta know what it's like Yeah, yeah Oh, 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 oh. What is up, you guys, and welcome to my channel. I hope that all of my beautiful and my handsome collective out there is doing well. So, you guys, this is going to be a reading for anyone of any zodiac sign, okay? Sun, moon, rise, and Venus, it doesn't matter what it is. You are welcome here. Now, in the past reading I did, it was talking about a third party, okay, the other man or the other woman want to reach out, you know what I'm saying? They mad, feeling like it's your fault that this marriage or relationship is ending. So, you know, we're going to dig a little deeper and see what's going on between them and this third party or karma. Y'all take it how it resonates. So we're going to pull from these karma tales and see what's going on. Now, if anything resonates with your storyline, go ahead and like, share, subscribe, and comment. And if you're interested in a personal, my email will be in the description box below. All right, you guys, let's go. Ooh, Okay. So out the gate, y'all, we got what y'all had was just the fling. So there's a third party here that feels like this connection that you share with this person. Like, it wasn't that serious. It wasn't no love lost. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't no love. It wasn't no feelings and emotions involved. Okay, this is just a fling. This is just good sex. Now, this could have been what was told to them, or this could be them. Like, they convincing themselves, like, shit, this person don't love you. They really don't want you. Like, whatever this situation, whatever this connection that you share with them, shit, it was just good sex. They feeling like, shit, you can't possibly compare it to them. But what they've been doing is comparing themselves to you. So there's a third party that I feel like is well aware of you. And they feel like, shit, you possibly can't compare a male or female. Like, this is someone who I feel like constantly compares themselves to you. And they like, uh-uh. The collective ain't this. They ain't all that shit telling you all that and then some. Now, for some of you, they feel like your person and them have unfinished business. And so this could be why this person could be trying to hold on to this connection, relationship, whatever it is. They could just have kids with this person. But this third party feel like, shit, they not done with your person. And until they say they through, this shit ain't over with, okay? They feel like they have unfinished business, like whatever connection that they share with your person, they feel like that shit ain't over with. You know what I'm saying? You just kind of came in and, and fucked that shit up. Hmm. I'm trying to say that. All right, tell us more, Holy Spirit. Messages for my collective. What do they need to know about this relationship their person shares with this third party? I projected my negative thoughts and feelings onto your person, and they did the same to you, okay? So there was a lot of projection that was going on in this connection you shared with your person. So this third party projected onto your person, and then when you met this person, they projected onto you what was projected onto them. So a lot of God dog on me, projection going on here. A very toxic connection is what I'm picking up on. Look at this. this. But this third party, I'm telling you, man, they about to lose their damn mind because they just don't understand what's so special about this connection. I'm telling you, they're comparing themselves to you each and every day. If some of you are on some type of platform or you're visibly being seen, it's like they watch you. But comparing themselves, like, man, the collective ain't all that cute. They ain't all that handsome. They ain't all that. But shit, they can't for the God of them, the life of them, understand why this person can't let go of you. That's the problem. They don't understand what's so special about this. What, what's on this? Oh, shit. What's so special about this connection? Y'all know Mercury Retrograde here. Y'all probably made talk work for them. What's so special about this connection? Like, why can't this person let you go here? Why are they still holding on? Tell us more, Holy Spirit. What does the collective need to know about this connection their person shares with this third party? We have a bond that can never be broken. So for some of you, they're married to this third party. They feel like they got a bond that shit can't be broken. Oh, uh, that's why you got divorce lawyers, attorneys and shit. Yeah, you can break that bond, baby. It ain't that hard. <laughs> All right. We have ooh, okay. So we have a strong sexual connection as well. Okay, because remember we had what y'all had was just a fling. So they just felt like shit, it was just a strong 
sexual connection. You know what I'm saying? They feel like you over there doing some strange for a little change with this person doing some old freaky deaky type shit. And they just feel like shit is just good sex. You know, so they could have been trying to mimic you, trying to do some old freaky things to this person, but shit, it ain't the same, baby. They will always choose me. So for some of you shit, this third party, this karma could have did some type of black magic or some type of spell work to ensure, you know what I'm saying, they're always going to be the, the top choice. You know what I'm saying? To make sure that they'll always get picked this right time, next right time. Higher. I feel like for some of you, this person has followed you or this karmic has followed this connection for many lifetimes. You know what I'm saying? This ain't the first lifetime that you've had to deal with this karma here. And they feel like no matter what she, they're going to do whatever they got to do to make sure that they will always be chose here. Tell us more, Holy Spirit. Mm. Ooh, I will fuck you up and your divine feminine. Okay, so definitely twin flame energy. So for some of you, this, this third party has threatened you. And this person could be staying away from you because this, this third party has threatened you. They was like, if you go back to the collective, if you go back and try to be with your divine feminine, I'm going to F you up and I'm going to F up your divine feminine too. So you've been wondering why this person hasn't come towards you with the whole love shit because they're really trying to protect you from this crazy ass third party. Do you really think they would change for you? So some of you, maybe you're hoping, you've been hoping and praying you know that this person is really going to make those changes because you know if this person come back to you doing the same old ish that they was doing before, like this ain't going to work. And so, you know, you've really been hoping and praying that this person going to change and this third party, like, do you really think, you know what I'm saying, your divine master or this person from your past, are like, really going to change for you? Like, I'm the reason they really doing the things that they did in the first place here. Tell us more, you guys. I mean, tell us more, Holly. <laughs> Tell us more, Holy Spirit. Messages for my collectors. I love you guys. If anything is resonating with you so far, don't forget to like this video. Messages for the collector. What do they need to know about this connection? Ooh, look at this. Kitchen magic. Putting items in food. Remember I said there was some type of black magic or something going on. That's why they always feel like they'll choose them. For some of you, if they did this in the past, they was putting stuff in your person's food. Okay? There was some type of kitchen magic that was going on. I can't make this up. Thank you, Spirit, for that confirmation. Some type of black magic. This person was doing something, putting something in their food here. So this could be someone, I ain't going to say they had spiritual gifts, you know what I'm saying? But they do. If they have gifts, they use their gifts for evil. But they feel like shit, maybe this relationship is toxic. Even the third party sent back. Remember I said this is a toxic ass relationship. Come on through now. They feel like shit, maybe this shit is toxic. But I feel like shit, even they, they still gonna hold on to them because they don't want you to have them either. Let's get one more. Messages for, ooh, okay. I don't understand why they're in so in love with you. I can't make this up. And that's why they don't understand what's so special about this connection where is they card it they don't understand what's so special about this connection why this person they can tell this person ain't let go of you that they still in love with you they still want to be with you and they just don't understand because hell for some of you this your twin this is the person that holy spirit made for you whether you want to be with this person or not this is the person that was made just for you and that's why they can't get you off your day mind and vice versa mm. now for some of you this third party is out here sleeping with some of their friends okay Male or female, it doesn't matter. For some of you, they did that to hurt. Like, this third party want to do whatever they can to hurt this person. Keep them stuck to continue to delay this reunion, okay? And for some of you, shit, they dirty. They grimy. And they been sleeping with their damn friends. And they saying, shit, wait until they find out about me and their friends. Like, they're going to be heartbroken. I feel like this person, I always want to keep this person's heart shot with blocks. Because they know as soon as they open up their heart, shit, they coming straight to you. So it's like whatever they can do to keep this person down, to keep their energy low, to keep their heart chakra blocked, that's what they're going to do to try to stop this reunion, okay? All right, y'all. So let's get the signs here. Let's see who this reading is about. All right, so we got Aquarius, Heavy Sash, and Cancer. Who is this reading about, Holy Spirit? We got Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Pisces. Gemini, Pisces, Taurus, and Aquarius. All right, you guys, I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.